Andrew Millison from Oregon State University, and I'm proud to present to you our newly developed online continuing education course, Rainwater Harvesting. When we decided to develop this course, I knew I needed to go right to the source, so I journeyed back down to Tucson, Arizona to work with one of my original permaculture mentors, Brad Lancaster, author of Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond, Volumes 1 and 2. We've built this course around Brad's books and his brilliant work. We've also visited other rainwater harvesting pioneers and projects throughout the temperate climate of the Pacific Northwest. So please enjoy this sneak preview of Oregon State University's rainwater harvesting online course. The rain goes to the roof and it gets to the gutter and then the rain had to get all of the bird poop. In a dryland area, if you're growing food, uh, you have an ethical responsibility to be harvesting rainwater. A sheltered canyon was created on what was previously an exposed ridge. Pretty sweet. We should go in there and check it out. Now, as you look at it today, things are so vibrant. Let's get off the street. Here comes the cars, but that's the inlet. 3,000 gallon plus amount of runoff coming off the street would suit the water needs of this tree. My water harvesting cistern is placed in this location. So while you may not see it underneath this mass of the kibia vines, it's here. Here I am standing in front of the 11,000 gallon rainwater tank at the University of Arizona. So the way that we've solved that problem is by installing a large scale 5,000 gallon rainwater collection system. The water from the cisterns is used to flush toilets. You're filling, you're draining, you're filling, you're draining. And you fill and drain the cisterns many times throughout the year. If you look out there, what natural topographical uh, feature do you see? So what does that tell us? It tells us that more rain falls on the dry land community of Tucson in a year than all its citizens consume. And we do get some infiltration here, but we could get more. It's yet another way to get to the point of 100% of this landscape's irrigation needs being met by on-site water. And if you do that, then the value of your work and your knowledge is going to be at so much of a higher level. So go for it. Join us for Oregon State University's Rainwater Harvesting online course.